Hello everyone, Ramadan Kareem. We are out here looking for the best place to have an amazing iftar. And what better place to start our journey than at my favorite restaurant which is in JLT right here. And that is Dumpo. All right, so we're starting off with some soup. Pakoras. We're going to grab ourselves some samosas. And then I'm particularly interested in trying this fried fish it looks really delicious and I think that makes for a wholesome plate number one let's go back to our seat and enjoy this alrighty guys so for round one we have some spring rolls right here we have some fried fish which looks absolutely delicious and we have a samosa right here we have some pakoras obviously Pakistanis cannot break their fast without pakoras so we have some right here and then we have this soup which I can't wait to try it's traditional Pakistani style hot and sour soup all right guys then we also have some of this which is milk soda okay let's just try this one first It tastes like milk and pakola or 7-Up. I think it's milk and 7-Up. Mm. It's not bad. Let's start with the fried fish right here. Wow. That is really, really good fried fish, guys. Wow. Let's try this spring roll right here. Oh, it's okay. And now my favorite guys, which is the these pakoras. The pakoras are flavorful, but I think they prepared them like maybe an hour ago or so because they're not like super fresh at this point. That fish though. Wow, there are some kids playing here and I don't know how much of the sound the, the mic is catching but when you come outside and sit and have iftar at a family place like this all of these sounds are a part of the experience, right? So even if the mic is catching them, I'm okay with that. Let them have their fun while we have ours. Alright, let's, let's try the samosa right here. It's really hot right now. So I'm guessing that the samosa is freshly made. Let's go. Wow, that samosa is so fresh, but I think it needs some raita. So I'm going to be right back. Let me see if I can find some raita. All right, guys, so we got ourselves some raita right here. And now let's try the samosa again. Wow, that samosa and that raita, they go so well together, guys. Alrighty guys, let's try the next item which is this hot and sour soup. That is a really good soup. Let's look at that. Wow. So far, everything on the platter has been amazing. Except for the spring roll, that was okay. And then of course, a Pakistani iftar would not be complete without roux afza. 
which we have right here. So let's try. I already know the taste of this, like it's no rocket science, but let's try anyway. There's nothing better than fresh ice cold roux of za at iftar. Wow. All right, let's go in for plate number two. Also, just a quick note, guys. I noticed that a lot of you are watching my videos, but if you could just take out one second to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, that would really mean a lot to me. Thank you. All right, guys, let's grab some of these chicken malai botis. So let's grab some of these. I think only a few of them are remaining anyways before they refill it, so. And then all the other items here are then like egg fried rice and stuff. So we're gonna come back to that after we try some of this. These are the mutton seek kebabs. Hmm. Wow, spicy, really nice. And then let's try some of the chicken malai boti as well, right here. Nice. Between the chicken booty and the kebab, I prefer the kebab more. Alright guys, let's move on to the Chinese items now. So we have some egg fried rice right here. And then we have these uh, vegetable hakka noodles right here. And that's what we're going to try next. And I think we're going to pair it with the chicken cashew nut, which we have right here. Check this out, it looks so good guys. Okay, let's grab a plate. Uh, let's grab some of the noodles as well. And let's grab some gravy for those rice. Alright guys, plate number 3, the Chinese dishes on the menu. So we have some rice and then we have some chicken cashew nut and then we have some hakka noodles right here. Okay, nice, not bad. It's Chinese but it has uh, Pakistani or Desi flavors to it as well. It's really good. Let's try some of that some of the Hakka noodles with a little bit of the broccoli as well. They're nice, they're flavorful, but they're a bit cold. And this is one of the things that I don't like about buffets that the, the dishes, they're not as fresh as when you order them a la carte. But obviously then you get the price benefit, you're getting all of this in 49 dirhams um, and if you go and try to order a la carte even if you order two of these items you'd still end up paying the same so you shouldn't complain it's still nice though it's very nice and very flavorful so let's go in for a big bite we have rice we have the chicken and then we have some cashew nuts as well that is that is good pakistani style chinese guys wow Alright guys, plate number 5, I think. Okay, so what we have here now is biryani. We have some nihari. Alright, and then of course we have some naan right here. But first, let's have a bite of the biryani. Let's go. Mm. That is good biryani, guys. Chicken biryani, chicken biryani, good biryani. How many times did I just say biryani? Not sure. But it's good. We got some more roux of as well. The thing with Nihari is that if you leave it for too long, it will become absolutely useless. So let's go in for the Nihari right now. Oh man, that is that is all fat right here. Look at that bite. Let's try. Mm. Wow. 
just look at that. That's not even meat. That's just fat. That's pure fat. Look at that. Look at that. Let's try. I'm almost starting to get full now. Like very close. Mm. After Ramadan, I think maybe someday I would just come back to have the chicken biryani because it's it's really flavorful. Good biryani, guys. All right, guys. I don't think I can have any more food today, but let's try some of this amazing-looking sweet dish. So we have some assorted cakes right here, and then we have some fruit truffle right here. Let's try a little bit of both. Let's end today's vlog with some sweet dish. So we have some fruit truffle right here, and then we have a cake right here. Let's start with the fruit truffle first. Mm. Wow, that is really good, guys. Wow, that fruit truffle, guys, absolutely worth it. Worth every penny. All right, guys. So that's a wrap. I don't think I can have any more food for today. But next time you're in JLT, and if you're looking for a nice, affordable buffet, Pakistani buffet, then check out Dumpok Restaurant. These guys are doing a fantastic job. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm just gonna have a little bit of tea, and then I'm going to show you around this beautiful area of JLT for a few minutes. And that's where we end today's video. I'll see you next time with another one. Till then, take very good care of yourself, guys. Take care. Stay safe.